All right, so our next consortium um, is cabbage, which is already planted, right? Every 50 centimeters, we've got two lines on the bed, and in each line they're spaced in 50 centimeters, and we've got corn right in the middle of four cabbages. So every four cabbages, we've got a corn in between. Well, the dice of five. Exactly. So these, these cabbages, they're gonna come, you know, the four large, the real deal, and we're just gonna have the corn popping up, you know, from, from that center. We might as well fill that space. Uh, and then we're coming in with the rockets. Okay, so I've opened up the line here. I'm opening up the second line, and Felipe has gotta go ahead and, and plant that rocket. Yeah. And then the rockets, you can really be generous with seeds. They're gonna come, come sprouting right up and really make a nice, dense green barrier here. The rocks will be harvested with about 30 days, we'll be harvesting it. The cabbage will take us between 75 and 90 days, and the corn also about 90 days. And then after sowing the rockets, I'm gonna come right ahead with a bit of organic matter. It's a little dust. And cover the seeds, just a thin layer. And it's really interesting to see that when you do it like this, the bed where I planted the rockets, just like it happened with the turnip, is a concave little nest. And it's really gonna um, absorb water and keep keep it moist. You know, we can go ahead, we can plant a little rocket there, we can plant it here, we can fill in spaces if you really want to to maximize. You know, we could put like, uh, we could think, uh, you know, lettuce, other little things we can fill in if, if you if you, if you you wanted to. Yeah, okay. it's possible to make it a lot more complex. This is a pretty simple system. So already we've planted the corn here, there's already two seeds of corn in the dice. So let's go to the next one. All right. All right, so our next consortium is gonna be lettuce, which is already planted. We've got three lines in the bed, right? And they're spaced every 40 centimeters. And right in between each row of lettuce, we're gonna sow carrot right here in this line that's already open and in between the lettuces we're going to plant radish right radish is really a great plant to fill in these holes because it's just just like rockets it comes so fast and in about 30 days 25 25 to 30 days we already have a harvest right so let's go and plant the carrot you gotta be careful to plant the carrot, right? We don't want to have too much work thinning it out later. So we really try to put a couple of seeds every three to four centimeters. Uh, it takes a lot of time. Some people just like to sow it densely, but then you have more work later um, to thin it out. So it's a choice. You can either have more work now, you know, take a longer time to plant it or just do a dense planting and then thin it out. Both ways work. Will you finish the carrot for me, please? Yeah. Uh, I'm my gonna go. Fingers aren't um, ideal for this, but uh, basically, you know, it's, it's, it's like, like like we said. Obviously, the lettuce is gonna remove itself from the system. We've got to harvest it within another um, forty-five days. For, forty-five days maximum, because it's already it's already got twenty days you know, in, as a seedling. So, and then the radish as well, even, even quicker, the radish in, in 30 days, it's gone. So really, when this carrot looks to take over and looks to close, close in, you know, all of this would have been gone. So we're really just filling in and making the most of it. Exactly. So we're gonna have three harvests here. We're gonna have radish in 30 days, which I'm planting here in between the lettuces. Then we're gonna have lettuce in about 40 days, 40 to 45 days. And then I'm gonna have the carrots after 100 days or so. See, with this radish, we're really just gonna make it local, you know, 
we could sprinkle it but we've got the lettuce here so we're just going to plant locally here a couple of seeds exactly that's perfect and i'm taking the opportunity and planting it here in the border as well excellent let's make it let's make it yeah. worth a while let's make use of this border because yeah. it's, it's nice it's, it's, it's popo it's got the manure there exactly it's really the idea of optimizing the use of the space because I couldn't plant lettuce denser if I took out the other species. It would be the same density, it's the same spacing. So I'm just using the difference in, in the life cycle of each plant to put them together. So that's pretty much it. Let's All right, go to the next, next one. one. Yep. All right, so now the next consortium and last one. Here we're doing beets, leeks and coriander. Right, so we've got uh, one row of beets and one row of leeks. One row of beets, one row of leeks, right? 20 centimeters apart, one from the other. And then we're gonna sow coriander in the middle because it's the fastest of these vegetables, right? In 30 days, we're harvesting coriander. Then in 70 days, 50 to 70 days, beets and leeks after 110 days. So, like we showed you earlier, we're gonna use our pointed sticks. In Brazil, we call these tools chuchu. I don't know if you've got a name for it in your country. And so just like we showed you, we're gonna open up a little space and plant the seedling of the beets. And it's very important. I find it very important that after you've, you've gone ahead and you've got that in this hole and you've compacted it there, you've got the air out, you've got the contact, you know, really bring back that matter, that organic material, really bring it back, because this is where, if the sun is shining, if things, you know, not treating it so well, it will, it will have an effect exactly where we don't want it to have an effect in the, in the roots, because at the moment, all the roots are right there. So we need to protect it from the sun, we need to protect it from the heavy rain, so really bring it back to protect where we really need protection okay so we, we're going ahead and we're planting the, these beets beetroots and and the leek and uh if, if do you you got the seeds there the coriander seeds yeah i'll do that one thing that's really important as well um people who don't have experience sometimes do this mistake you've got to take you've got to be really careful with this piece of soil here right where the roots are so really don't we don't want to press it or anything you can see that we don't even touch it and when you're taking out the air of the soil like Gennaro just explained you really have to do it you know far from the roots of the plant to make sure that you don't damage it obviously obviously like like I mentioned you want to bring back the matter but you never want to close off the eyes you know the eyes always need to be obviously you know free to 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 sprout i'm just showing the coriander seed here you can be generous as well with coriander seeds we want them to be dense right so we have tender leaves they're going to be harvested really soon young plants because that's how people like it over here in brazil and that's it all right so now we're gonna go ahead and show you how we also plant the veg in the tree beds when you know in the, in the first stage when the trees haven't grown yet okay so let's move on to that all right right so we wanted to show you how you can plant the veg you know in your tree bed as well and when you when you first plant the trees we've got the eucalyptus here we've got the bananas and we've got the coffees uh, just a reminder that you know we, we've not gone ahead and planted the citrus in this case or any other major fruit uh, avocado and that th those kind of fruits because uh, we really want to keep the sun coming into the veg system we really want to we planted the banana every every other meter so in two two meters we've got bananas oh no it's, it's a meter and a half actually a meter and a half we've got a meter and a half the bananas so that's how dense we're planting the bananas it might be that I, I choose, you know, we can harvest one every other banana. So we'll have every three meters banana, which we might allow to, to become, you know, like a fruit producer. And the other ones we might chop. 
it really will depend on how much light's coming in, how much sun we need the crop. We can decide on that later, but what's for sure, we will not have bananas giving fruit every, uh, every meter and a half. So at least one of them is there for the cut, probably two. Uh, we've got the eucalyptus, we're gonna be cutting them as well. And uh, you know, we've, we've gone ahead and we've, we've planted lettuce and, uh, and filled it in with, with uh, corn. And our friend here, collard greens. So we've got collard greens, lettuce, and corn in the middle. That's how we, we decided to um, have a, a first harvest in the tree row, right? Take this opportunity that it, it's already well fertilized and we've got a well prepared soil. So we're gonna have a harvest here as well. You know, if you have the market, I mean, you really can fill in the space, you really can you know those things that come really quick like the the rocket and the radish those things you can always fill them in you can always use that because you know before before we need that space it's already gone so you can always fill in further if you if you've got that basic knowledge on on the time of harvest of each species and how but that's going to be the trick you know you really got to have a basic experience on on when you can for the consortiums, you really have a, a basic knowledge on the, the time it takes to harvest and the space it occupies through time. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of trial and error, but the beauty about it, you know, you plant three, four species, uh, you might get one wrong, but you've got the other three right. So, that's it. Yeah. So, that was our, our vegetable system, and let's go into the next one. Thanks for watching, and Till next time.